Hi everyone, today I'm doing a doll repaint for the first time. The base is an LOL surprise doll called Miss Glam. And I kind of chose her because I wanted to make a reindeer themed doll. So, And I also didn't want to change the hair myself. So I thought that her hair was really cute for a reindeer. And it was curly, which I liked. So that's why I thought she was perfect. Um, I was really afraid to paint her right away though. So I did like a mock-up first by like drawing over a, like a google picture I found of her or I think I had taken a picture myself and um, when I saw the results of the drawing that I did I was like super excited to start because it looked nice I wasn't expecting it to look really nice um, but yeah it was weird painting on the doll but once I started it it felt kind of natural um, and yeah, I, um, I just like followed YouTube videos on how to like take her original face paint off. And so basically it just said I could use, um, nail polish remover. So that's what I did and it came off pretty easily. I feel like it kind of left a little bit of streaking, um, like just a little bit of like redness on her face from where the eyebrows were. But other than that, it, it just came off really easily. Um, the color pencils that I used were good for outlining, um, how I wanted her face to look, but I quickly needed to change to the acrylic paint for more pigment because after I did the, um, after I drew the outline basically with the pencils, I did a spray layer to, because that's what the video said to do, to like build up um the the like color like brightness and so then I tried to go over with the pencils again but it just didn't really do anything maybe I didn't give it long enough to dry but um it just wasn't really working so I just switched to the paint um I don't know it could be due to my pencils being cheap but it just it just wasn't working for me um and I I also used pastels. I didn't use the pastel that much, but I kind of used it like as like makeup, mostly for like blush and stuff like that. So I like kind of blushed her cheeks and um, her body, like her elbows and her knees. And I also kind of, I think I put some kind of like um, contour on her forehead so that was fun that was like the funnest part because I could just like dust her <laughs> I don't know um but yeah I meant to put glitter on her eyeshadow like I did in the drawing that I made however I lost the glitter that I had bought um so the eyeshadow ended up being different the um items that I used were mostly from artist sloth because I was on a budget so I used auto sloth fundamentals collection for my watercolor watercolor pencils and um, for the soft pastels I used I got a auto sloth needed eraser um, and their 12 color basics acrylic set and acrylic paint set and I also got their um, super value 25 piece brush set um, and that I think if you're on a budget will basically get you through everything um, you don't have to get anything super fancy like as you see in the video it pretty much worked out for me and then for my varnishes I got um, my varnishes from Liquitex because I couldn't find what the videos were like saying to use so I was just like I'm gonna find the best thing that Michaels has and I just looked for one that has like good reviews so Liquitex's brand was pretty good and I got their Liquitex high gloss varnish and the Liquitex Solovar matte varnish and those worked pretty well for me I really liked them but yeah all of this will be linked in the description if you're thinking of checking it out
I also did a mock-up for the clothes, but the design ended up changing because I kind of found it difficult to create the clothing that I had drawn. The fabric I had just wasn't kind of made for like what I had envisioned and so I just kind of scrapped it and made something similar. I kept it like like the pieces similar so she does still have a skirt and and um stuff. Um, but yeah, so I kind of just used like random, a random t-shirt um, that I had that kind of matched the color I was going for. And I also needed, I, I wanted her to be reindeer, reindeer themed. So I need to get like some kind of Christmassy things. And so I just went to Dollar Tree and I bought a couple of things. I don't think I spent more than like $30 um, at Dollar Tree. So that was great. And I kind of think that I might make the outfit from the mock-up um, in the future because I really do think it's cute. But I just don't know if it's worth my time. Um, we'll see. <laughs> I then wanted to make some shorts for her because I kind of felt like I made the slit of her skirt too high. But I just didn't feel like taking off the skirt to um make a new one because then I would have to take off the kind of apron that I made over it and that would have been the tricky part so I just was like I'll make some shorts to kind of like boy shorts to kind of cover it but then the boy shorts was not really working out for me that much and so I decided to give her underwear instead and um yeah that turned out that was pretty easy. Um, at that point, I was like tired of like waiting for glue to dry, so I ended up getting a glue gun um, from Walmart. It was probably like four dollars for the glue gun and the glue stick, and so it wasn't really expensive. And I just that just sped up my process so much. Um, and so after I finished her clothes, then I was working on the shoes. I think the shoes and the face up were my favorite parts of doing this doll repaint. But yeah, I kind of wanted to have her, I wanted her to have like some kind of fur like texture to her because she is supposed to be an animal. And I feel like that wasn't expressed enough but I guess she's just animal inspired at this point but yeah so for the shoes I had this like fur ish stuff that I used and I kind of just wrapped it around her boots and like used the glue gun to um make it stay and I think the shoes came out really cute and then I also I, I like had the shoes on but it was like really wiggly so I was like she needs some socks and so I just used like this hat that I bought from Dollar Tree and I made her some socks and it, the that whole thing was like really cute so in the end yeah she just like she just came out really cute like super cute for um, my first doll repaint and I was really happy with her but yeah so if you liked the video hit the like button and subscribe for more content let me know in the comment section how you think I did and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.